today's tutorial, I'm going to show you all about how I made this ombre pink leopard print tumbler. If you're new here, my name is Allison and here on this channel, I post weekly tutorials to help you become a more confident tumbler maker and crafter. For this particular tumbler, I am using a 30 ounce skinny from Makerflow and I'm using two different flippin' awesome paints. You could really do this tumbler in a plethora of different ways with a ton of different paints. For the sake of this video, I'm gonna use the flippin' awesome paints which just happen to be my favorite. I'm using two colors from their new spring collection and I will link them down below. You could recreate this with spray paint if you prefer or whatever methods that you want. The first thing you need to do, as always, is prep your tumbler. I will link a video right here and in the description box below if you need more help figuring out how to prep your tumbler. I've got more details on making of this tumbler throughout the video, so let's get started. I did start this tumbler with a few coats of the lighter color because I had it painted from a previous project and I decided to change direction. So you can start right on the stainless, although the lighter flippin' awesome paints do take a few coats, so it isn't a bad idea to just do like one or two coats first before you do the ombre just to help yourself get better coverage. So I decided to prep the tumbler and do a couple coats of that misty mauve. Now I really only did that first because again, I had another project going, but it did help get that full coverage. So I started with my first color um, on the bottom. Again, the order doesn't really matter, but this is pink pizzazz and I am using a wet and wild blush brush to apply the paint. I highly, highly, highly recommend you get your hands on one. Um, I will link down an Amazon link below, but you can also find them at the Dollar Tree. So I'm sort of just painting this coat and getting them together um, a little over halfway, but kind of right in the middle of the tumbler. And you're going to start bringing the colors into each other. That's kind of like the way I like to say it. I just take the paint and start bringing the pink into the mauve and then the mauve into the pink and taking this blush brush and just continuing to blend those colors. Now, it does take some practice, but you can see I just kind of keep going in there with my brushes until I am satisfied. I would caution you or urge you or entice you to practice, but you can always do a second coat. So try not to worry too much on how your first coat looks. But when you're satisfied with how they are blending, you can let it dry for four hours. Once that four hours is up, you can either do a second coat or you can let it dry and move on to the vinyl portion of the tumbler. Again, you get better with blending the more you practice and these brushes really do help. So I did decide to prep the vinyl. I decided to use just white Oracle 651. And when I tested a little sample with just flipping Awesome Paint right on the vinyl, it worked and it dried fine and it didn't chip, but it seemed like it would need several coats because it was almost like slippery. I don't know how else to explain it. So what I decided to do was prep the vinyl and I prepped by using clear spray paint. I just did a couple of light coats like three, two or three, honestly, light coats of the Rust-Oleum two times clear. And then I let that dry for 48 hours. And then when I went to paint the Flippin' Awesome paints on that vinyl, it got really great coverage. So I do recommend prepping it, but it's not 100% necessary. You might wanna play around with it to see how it works. So I decided to paint the vinyl just like I did the tumbler in matching colors because I wanted the vinyl to be sort of opposite to what I have on the tumbler. So I just kind of brought both colors to the middle a little over halfway, similar to the way I did the tumbler, and take my brushes and blend. Now I will say that um, you may need a second coat, but I just went with it because I was running really low on my mauve paint. So I just took my brush and paint and just kept going until they were fully blended. I will say, um, if I do this again, I will make this blending section even bigger because when I was going to do the vinyl, um, I wish I had more of where the colors blended. So again, just do it just like you did the tumbler, get it to blend so you're happy. And if you want to do a second coat, go ahead, um, let it dry completely, and then you can cut it with your silhouette or Cricut. 
I got this SVG from Etsy. I will link it down below. And I cut it with my Silhouette machine. It did need uh, more pressure, uh, more force than regular Oracle 651. And even then I didn't do the best job cutting it. So it took me like an hour to weed this whole sheet of paper. So I highly recommend doing some test cuts before you actually cut the vinyl. I did start with the blended area and go all the way through the middle. And this kind of showed me that I wish I had more blended um, leopard prints on that cut out. So that's why the next time I would make it a little bit bigger of a space. But I went, you know, blended in the middle and then went to the pink along the top and the mauve along the bottom. So it went in an opposite direction. I just hand placed them because I think that is a lot easier and turns out a little bit better when you have more control as to what size and shape goes where. Once I got the vinyl all on, I didn't wait at all. Um, some people prefer to wait a few hours to, before they start coating, but I just got it completely covered to where I was happy. And if I didn't like a spot, I could just remove it and replace it. But then I went in with my bright tone. You're gonna use gloss for the entire cup until the end. So do three or four coats of bright tone, give it a light sand and three or four more coats of bright tone until you have a completely smooth surface. Once you have a completely smooth surface and basically your cup is done, you can move on to the matte portion of the tumbler. You want to make sure that you stir your matte, bright tone matte extremely well. Like make sure it is completely stirred and give it time to fully combine. The flattening paste will settle on the bottom. So please, please, please take the time to get this completely stirred. I highly recommend using a damp brush to apply your um, bright tone mat. Dip and drip, don't wipe it along the sides and try to get this done in a few, as few brush strokes as possible so you can ensure a streak free finish. You will need two or three coats of the bright tone mat. So let each coat dry for four hours and it will go on glossy, but you can see that it dries matte and you'll get even better coverage if you do a second or maybe a third coat if you need it. Again, letting each coat dry for four hours. Let me know in the comments below if you plan to make one yourself and what color combination you're gonna choose. Are you gonna do this color or what other colors you think would look good together? I can't wait to hear what you have to say. Join me in the next video.